Hey there, fellow true believers. This is JR369. Welcome back for another brand new video review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the Spider-Man Homecoming Homemade Suit Spider-Man by Hasbro. This is one of the uh, basic lines of action figures. On the on the figure, you get the um, the packaging wise, it exposes the figure and its accessories. We got the window of the fake, get the image of the figure. You get the uh, image of Spider Man, Spider Man Homecoming logo, Homemade Suit Spider Man, Hasbro, and it's recommended for ages 3 plus. And also, there's a Spider Man logo on the bottom, nothing else. And on the back here, it says there's a read a bio about the um, the character. It says Peter Parker swings around New York City in a suit he made himself as the web slinging hero Spider Man. And other different languages. You get other figures from this line like the normal suit Spider-Man, Techno, Tech Suit Spider-Man, and of course Marvel Vulture. So that's about it for the packaging. Now let's release Homemade Suit Spider-Man out of the package. Here we got Homemade Suit Spider-Man out of the package. Now let's take a look at the figure. Now the head scope on the figure itself. I mean I like how they sculpted the goggles and wrapped around his mask. Looks really well done. But I really wish there's some paint to it on the um, the figure. Like the like, there's white on the inside of the eye, and there's black inside of it. And there's a spider logo right here, including the spider logo on the back. You have the little hoodie that's molded on it. I really wish it's made out of soft material. And also, you can see the little zippers on the um, the molded zipper on the uh, sweater here, the sweatshirt. And also there's some Chris Fringles on the um, the outfit, his jacket, his long blue long sleeves, and his sweatpants. And you can see the little string on he on the um his area there. And there's also little fabric things or whatever they're called on the jackets. And also you can clearly see you get the web slinger on the um on the hands there, and Spider Man's wearing fingerless gloves. Come on, Spider-Man. I thought you were the smartest hero of all time. I guess he's not because he might be touching evidence with the fingerless next gloves. Nothing specific on the boots. You get a little texturing on it. You know, just a, they look like soccer boots or soccer socks. And nothing much on the shoe. Just plain old red. Nothing on the back. And there's pegles in the bottom of the feet as well. Overall, the figure itself is, looks kind of okay, but I really wish there's more sculpt and more paint details on it, including like the um, the goggles. But, I mean, hey, it's just a basic figure. What else can you expect? For articulation is, the hair could go fully rotate, kind of, because it's hindered by the hoodie. And go up and down. Arms go fully rotate and go forward back, in and out. Then at the elbow, rotate at the elbow. Legs can go forward and back, bend at the knee, and rotate at the knee, and that's about it. It's really weird that that Hasbro stopped doing like the knee articulation on the um other basic figures like the like like the um uh what's it, uh the Avengers Infinity War Hero Vision figures, but they but before that, before Spider Man Homecoming, they did like the um. They didn't have added like the knee articulation on the Guardians of the Galaxy basic figures. And then they bring him back with the basic figures of the Spider-Man with knee articulation. It's really strange how they stop they stopped doing the knee articulation on the um on the Infinity War figures, basic figures. I mean that's really strange. Now for accessory, he does come with this uh, web slinging, whatever the web slinging. It fits on his hand, on this hand very well. It's just, you just snug it in. And there we go. I mean, I'm more perfectly put it on the other hand, which is like the web slinging shooting hand, because it makes more sense. But since the figure, since this web shooting is very heavy, let's see there. Do, 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 do. Yeah. It might fall off really easily, so I'm sticking with the um the wrist, the one that has holding, no gripping holding hand. But overall, I gotta say it's a 
an okay looking figure. It's not that bad. It's not the worst. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's okay. I really wish there's more paint to it, like the eyes as well. I mean, nothing much on the figure, just a usual basic figure, like I said. But, I mean, it's a not bad looking toy. I really wish it has this, like, you know, paint sculpt on, actually paint details on the goggles, because, you know, in the movie, it's like black and white, you know, the lenses. But, you know, it's just a basic figure. They're too lazy to use that. And I know this is not a Marvel Legends figure. It just makes me feel like the Marvel Legends one is way better than this one. So my rate on this figure, I'm going to give this Spider-Man figure a 4 out of 5. I mean, a 4 out of 10. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. After you subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both of the links will be in the description down below. So that's about it. This is JAR369 and goodbye.